Welcome to Northland Basketball, Northland Basketball, presented by Sports Zone Radio. Exclusive coverage of Navajo Nation and White Mountains Varsity Basketball online at sportszone123.com and on the Sports Zone Radio smartphone app. And now it's time for Northland Basketball. Hey everybody, welcome into Northland Basketball here at the Sports Zone. We welcome you back to Blue Ridge High School for the broadcast of Northland Basketball. Yeah, we'll fix that audio. That was my bad on that. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Floyd Simmons getting set to bring you the action here from Blue Ridge High School tonight. It's the, well, that's also the wrong, uh, it's not Paige Jin Lee. Sorry, that was supposed to be our last game. It is Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge taking on Winslow. Blue Ridge versus Winslow tonight. The Yellow Jackets hosting at Yellow Jacket Gymnasium, the Winslow Bulldog boys club coming into this one here and we are just about ready to get it underway the starting lineups are going to be announced by uh, the uh, public address announcer here tonight mike bosley is the public address announcer and we're going to try to give him the opportunity if we can pick up his audio to announce the starting lineups the yellow jackets hosting tonight come in with an overall four and six record i'll check standings and rankings for you in just a moment as well but uh, four and six overall is probably not where the yellow jackets hoped to be i don't think anybody hopes to be sitting at four and six at this point of the season winslow is seven and seven both would love to see those numbers improve and the rankings also are somewhat reflective of those numbers. Well, these two uh, these two teams want to see some improvement in that. Winslow is ranked number 14 in the state. Blue Ridge is ranked number 18. So with Winslow, that 14 is a that is 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 playoff territory. But of course, we've got a month of basketball or almost a month of basketball left to be played before we get to the playoffs. You want to get in that. Top 24, stay in that top 24. Out on the floor, it is time for the National Anthem. Hey, that was Alan Jackson, wasn't it? Great job on the uh, National Anthem. There's a shot of your uh, officials for tonight's game. Greg Chavez Jr., Quinn Ashton, Scott Baker, great crew. They'll do you a great job tonight, I can assure it. And it's uh, officials' appreciation night, as I as I understand it. Out on the floor, starting lineups, let's uh, check in with the uh, public address announcer. Number 24, Michael Baker. Number 25, Avery Harnett. And number 30, Tyreen Duahapia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to introduce to you 
your starting Blue Ridge Yellow Jacket. Number three, Jason Bonito. Number five, Mr. Branson Baguette. Number 13, Caleb Mink. Number 20, Arlano Cruz. And number 24, Ralph Dominguez. Coached tonight by Kirby, as well as let her introduce number 55, everybody. So there's your starting lineups announced here tonight at Blue Ridge High School. We're are we ready to go, folks? Are you ready, basketball fans, for a big 3A East region showdown? I certainly hope so, because that's what we have directly ahead for you. That's Branson Begay jumping center. Winslow uh, sends Taylor Henning out there to jump. And the initial control is going to go to Winslow. They're going to get the first points of the game. Able to execute Anthony Torres. He is the guy that gets the points. Winslow then gets a steal. Lydell Baker pulls up at the 14-foot mark and got the nice roll. And Lydell has his first points of the game as well. Winslow comes out on fire early. And the first two buckets before the Yellow Jackets can even get a possession into front court. They finally do, and it's uh, Arilano Cruz is the guy that gets the points for the, the Jackets. You heard most of Winslow's starters a moment ago. Handling right here with the shot, one of those. That would not go in for Taylor Handling. As Jason Bonito goes into the paint and draws a foul. Two shots on the way for Bonito. The official's going to have a conversation to make a determination maybe on who committed the foul. And the guy that did commit that foul is uh, Tyron Dunanefia is the guy that picks up the foul. And uh, we're going to stick with Tyron <laughs> his name most of the time. So Tyron the guy, and at the line right now is Jason Bonito for the Yellow Jackets. Jason makes one of two. And it's Winslow four, Blue Ridge three after the Yellow Jackets make the free throw shot. Game just underway here, the boys varsity match between the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets and the Winslow Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have the basketball. And they'll send a pass into the paint to Tyron that gets stolen by Bonito. And then his long pass finds the outlet, Branson Begay, for his first points of the game. The Yellow Jackets start Branson Begay. Jason Bonito is out there in that starting five. Ralph Dominguez starts this ball game. Caleb Mink in the middle of their 2-3 defense. And the other starter is Ariolana Cruz. The Yellow Jackets are setting to bring in their first sub of the game. Britton Dazen is standing by. Meanwhile, here come the Bulldogs trying to attack. They'll get the ball to the left baseline before Jason Bonito is able to come up with a steal. Push it up the floor. Tips into the hands of Branson Begay, and then he loses it out of bounds. Into the game comes Britton Dazen to replace Caleb Mink for the Yellow Jackets. Starters for Winslow include Anthony Torres. Taylor, Taylor Henning starts. Avery Hartnett, Lyville Baker is out there, and Tyron Dunuhavia is also one of these Winslow starters. And a three attempt from the left side for Torres. That one no good. Push, foul, Winslow gets called. The guy that picks it up is Taylor Henning. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul here in the first quarter on the Winslow Bulldogs. Trailing the Yellow Jackets 5-4 to four now. Blue Ridge grabbing their first lead of the game. Shot from the corner left side. The three-point try is going to swirl in and out. No good for Cruz. Winslow will try to cash in off the rebound. But the jump shot from the free throw line, no good for Lytell Baker. And the rebound belongs to the Yellow Jackets. 5.26 on the clock in the first quarter. 
Blue Ridge five, Winslow four. Hand check on the Branson Begay drive, and it's Baker that fouled him. First foul of the game on Lydell Baker. Inbound for the Jackets. Cruz wide open for a three, and he buries the shot from the left ankle. Left angle, not an ankle out there, that's an angle on the left side. A shot good there, and the Yellow Jackets have scored eight straight unanswered points now after the Bulldogs scored the first four points of the game. The Yellow Jackets have done them one better by doubling that output, and a travel by the Bulldogs will give the Yellow Jackets another opportunity right here. Caleb Mink returns to the Yellow Jackets lineup. Long pass finds Ralph Dominguez to Caleb Mink near the top of the key, and he drops a pass back to Branson Begay. Dribbles a couple of times between the legs and goes the reverse direction off the screen and takes it right up off the glass with the left hand. First point to the game for, for Brant. No, that's actually the second bucket for Branson Begay. Pardon me, I thought that was his first bucket. 4.30 on the clock, first quarter. Bulldogs have it. And a, a bounce pass that's kicked out of bounds by Jason Bonito. Jason must be a soccer player, is he? Jason, no, he's not a soccer player. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he's, he's made a couple of great defensive plays with his feet in the game today already. And by his feet, I don't just mean movement. I mean, like, literally kicking the basketball. One resulted in a steal. Hey, how about the nice work inside for Winslow right there? Uh, Tyron Dunenhafia. And I don't even know if that's a close pronunciation, but that was a nice job getting it inside and getting it off the glass. And finally, finally, after 10 straight Yellow Jacket points, finally a bucket for the Bulldogs. Now checking into the game is Isaac Danana, and he picks up a personal foul defending for the Bulldogs. And he will be the guy on the assignment on Branson Begay, and then... The switch out there, taken over defensively on Branson is Casey Monroe. Casey into the lineup, shot from the right angle. A deep three is good for Jason Bonito. For the Yellow Jackets, his first field goal of the game. He's got four points now in the first quarter. We're under the halfway mark of the first quarter. Drive and dish, and it's off Life L. Baker's hands out of bounds. A good thought. Baker was coming down along the left baseline, and his teammate, Tyron, Shoveled a pass between the defenders. And it was just a little bit too far out in front of Baker. So a turnover. Can the Jackets convert the turnover into points? There is a pass that gets thrown away. Winslow going to work behind the back pass. And a foul before the receiver of said pass can do anything with it. Blue Ridge is called. It's Branson Begay. First Foul on Branson, first time Winslow, or rather Blue Ridge has, has been whistled for a foul here in the first quarter. Winslow has 14 fouls already. That means the next foul on Winslow is going to be a two-shot bonus for the Yellow Jackets, at least for the remainder of the first quarter. There's a drive and a nice adjustment. Good-looking shot for uh, Dunu Hafia. And Dunu is able to get the, get the points there. Now a steal, but would not go in for Isaac... Tanana, long pass, stolen, nope. The Jackets control from the elbow, left side. The Cruz jump shot is no good. That'll go out of bounds. Score here 13 to eight. Blue Ridge in front of Winslow. The Bulldogs have a chance to work with it. Just inside the foul line. Shot no good, rebound. Rebound, uh, Blue Ridge and a collision out there, but both players are none the worse for wear after that. Jason Benito loses his dribble out of bounds right in front of the Winslow bench, and a turnover. Back to the Bulldogs, down by five here with two minutes and 25 seconds on the clock in the first quarter.
Lydell Baker tries a three. Might have been a little bit off balance. Couldn't make the shot. Bonito rebound. Long pass up the floor. Give him the assist. As he is able to find his teammate near the basket, Ralph Dominguez. First points for Ralph. Bulldogs. Casey Monroe tried to force a pass inside. It's knocked away. Picked up by Caleb Mink. And then Casey Monroe dropping back, hits the deck. I don't know, he might have tripped. Tripped over the Blue Ridge player, I don't know. He's got the ball, though, now after a Blue Ridge miss. And Casey able to bring it up the floor and knock one in off the glass. 15-10, to 10, Blue Ridge. Branson Begay in the paint. Nice work going left to right. He avoided the collision with the defender. He avoided the player control foul. That was really well done by Branson Begay for his third field goal of the first quarter. And Bonito has a steal. He stole the baseline pass. Long pass up the floor. And the Yellow Jackets, a little trouble controlling it. It ended up in uh, Arilano Cruz's hands, but Arilano lost the ball out of bounds. It will belong. It will belong to to, Blue, uh, to Winslow when we get back to it. Meanwhile, a timeout is taken, so we take a timeout as well. Stand by for the final 30 seconds of the first quarter and a seven-point Blue Ridge lead. This is Northland basketball right here at the Sports Zone. Whoa! Did you see Cellular One's affordable connectivity plan now comes with a 100 gigabyte hotspot? We can stream for days. Yes, that's right. The Cellular One ACP plan now includes 100 gigabytes of LTE data. Use it as a hotspot every month in addition to unlimited data on your smartphone. Tribal land residents on government assistance programs can access the free ACP plan, including those enrolled in WIC, SNAP, Lifeline, Pell Grants, and Medicaid. Get your free ACP plan at any Cellular One store today. ACP is a government benefit program and customers must qualify. Some restrictions apply. Limited time only, non-transferable. Limited to one line per household. One minute, 12 seconds remain here in the first quarter. Basketball fans, a 17-10 Blue Ridge lead. Winslow with the inbound. Bulldogs bring it in. Dish it right side. Three on the way. And that shot going to be no good for Anthony Torres. Rebound. Ransom Begay, and now under a minute on the clock in the first quarter. Begay. To the foul line. Now to Benito in the corner for the shot. It's off the mark. Rebound Winslow and a foul on the Yellow Jackets. Just checking in is Carlo Harris. Harris into the game. And Carlo, the sophomore, gets called for his first foul today. And we've got 45 seconds left in the quarter. In the inbound, Winslow will get it up the floor. Henning reports back in for them and knocks the jump shot down from the right elbow. That's Taylor Henning in his first points of the game. Go the other direction, and Carlo Harris just came into the game and able to get a bucket off the fast break. Into the paint, and a blocking foul on Carlo Harris, who tried to step in and take a charge. Well, he's a football player, and he kind of looked like one on that exchange right there. And that'll be Carlos' quick second foul of the game. He's going to have to exit. He just got he just got here less than a minute ago. He got into the game here to close out the first quarter, and now he has to leave. Two quick fouls on on Carlo. And Winslow closing the gap. And how about this? Well done by Casey Monroe following a shot right there. Casey makes this a three-point game. Jackets on the drive. Jason Benito with the basket. Three seconds remaining. Here's a shot from the right side. Clanks off the back iron from the Casey Monroe. Three-point try. And that will kill the clock here. End the clock and end our first quarter, everybody. How about this one? We got a good one going on. Blue Ridge 19 wins low 16. And the second quarter on the way next. Stand by for it. This is Northland Basketball presented by the Sports Zone. You may qualify for free internet with Choice and Chiway Wireless. If you already have Choice Tribal Lifeline, then you may also qualify for a free home internet connection with the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice and Chiway Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice and Chiway Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. 
They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. to 16 Blue Ridge in front. We start the second quarter and just like that, a quick shot is up. No good for Elijah Danford. He missed the three for the Yellow Jackets. Winslow gets a chance to tie it right here, try a three, and it wouldn't go in for Jace Smith. Smith playing his first minutes of the game here to start the second quarter for the Winslow Bulldogs, and he tried to, to go from cold to, to, to hot right there with one shot. That's what you do, right? You come in off the bench, and you try to get a shot up as soon as you can get get the feel for the game, right? There's a long outlet pass by Smith. For Winslow, but it's intercepted by Elijah Danford. He'll try a three again for the Yellow Jackets. Second shot attempt for him out there, and that one, like the first, would not go in. Casey Monroe runs it up the floor, gets it to his teammate, Anthony Torres. He's got it overhead on the right angle. Gives it off to Monroe again toward the corner. The Bulldogs will work it outside. A three on the way for Henning, and that shot no good. Talon Henning, unable to make that shot. 19-16, Blue Ridge in front. Neither one of these teams able to connect yet on several shot attempts. There's Elijah Danford. He just came in to start the quarter, and he's already chucked up three three-point tries and, uh, and yet to connect on one. I'm, I'm sure it's the next one, the next one going in for him. As we go 90 seconds into the quarter, coming up at halftime, it'll be the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Intent Halftime Report. Picture uh, shot there of the first year head coach, Kirby Elkins, who's taken over this Blue Ridge program. Turn around, jump shot is good from the left baseline for Casey Monroe. He also got some contact that put him on the ground. And he's got a chance at a three point play for the Yellow Jackets. Jason Bonito's first personal foul. You look at it again, nice job. By Casey Monroe is, you didn't really get to see the contact right there, did you? But you got to see the beautiful shot, and you got to see him on the deck afterward. And he's got a chance right here, tie the ball game at 19. And he does just that. Casey ties us, 19 apiece. Although your scoreboard doesn't reflect it yet. Shot good, right side, bounces around. Caleb Mink misses from the outside. Well, Blue Ridge is un unashamed. They're not bashful about shooting threes as you watch this one get blocked by Branson Begay. But unfortunately for Branson, he ran right into Torres, the shooter. He got the nice block, but then he, he got the body all over Torres to put him at the line and give an opportunity for Winslow to grab their first lead in a while. They open up with the first point, four points of the game. Then, then Blue Ridge scored 10 straight points. Take another look at the contact right here. Here comes the gate from behind. Well, did he even? I don't know if he even got a hand on it. From that angle, it doesn't look like it, does it? Torres to the foul line, and Winslow goes back in front as Anthony makes second of those two free throws. 20 to 19, our score. Branson Begay controls the ball in front court for the Yellow Jackets. On the angle right side, that's Caleb Mink. Back to Begay. And Caleb likes the look for He likes the look he has for a three-point try. It's no good. And the rebound belongs to the Bulldogs. 5.42 on the clock, second quarter. Winslow 20, Blue Ridge 19, boys varsity. From the corner, Jace Smith for Winslow, unable to make that. But his teammate is there. Isaac Danana is there to follow that one. And Winslow is getting some second quarter action going. And they lead it 22 to 19. Branson Begay dribbles at the top of the key to the angle right side. And then he steps back for a 
A three from the corner. That one no good. Rebound Winslow. Henning has it. And a little a little incidental, <laughs> incidental contact the official deems as these two teams uh, battle for the basketball. Winslow has it. And then a bounce pass is taken away by Elijah Danford. Elijah the steal. No, that's not Elijah. Britton Dazen, pardon me. Britton gets the steal for Blue Ridge. The jersey numbers are really hard to read. I got to talk to the athletic director, Jeremy Hathcock, and express my dismay at these uh, these these numbers. They're, they're white jerseys and white numbers with a very thin uh, tr uh, tracing around the numbers. We would call that a stroke, a uh, purple stroke, and it's very thin. And there's Henning. Knocking a three down for Winslow from the right corner. That looked good, didn't it? And that big shot, as you take a look at that replay, gives Winslow a six-point lead. We'll grab a timeout, Northland basketball fans. Back in a moment, 25-19, Winslow in front of Blue Ridge. Here in the second quarter, Northland basketball presented by the Sports Zone. You may qualify for free internet with Choice and Chiway Wireless. If you already have Choice Tribal Lifeline, then you may also qualify for a free home internet connection with the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice and Chiway Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice and Chiway Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Hey there, basketball fans. We bring you back into the action here at Blue Ridge High School. And Blue Ridge. Try to get the uh, score all corrected for you here. And I think we've got it on our book. Score on your on your graphic, on your screen is right. Winslow 25, Blue Ridge 19. The Yellow Jackets with the inbound after their timeout. And we've got four minutes, seven seconds remaining. In the second quarter of this one, at halftime, the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint halftime report. Caleb Mink tries to force a pass down low, and that's tipped and stolen by the Bulldogs as they continue their success in the second quarter. Henning at the high post, delivers to the corner right side for the left-handed three, and that one is going to be just off the mark. No good. No good for Denana. And tipped out of bounds off of the Bulldogs. It belongs to the Yellow Jackets. Down six as they throw the ball down the floor. The blind pass. Cruz trying to find his guy underneath. He was, uh, the pass was intended for Ralph Dominguez, and that's just one of those where the two guys were not on the same page. Cruz had one idea. Dominguez zigged when he should have zagged. Yellow Jackets will get it back. And nice work protecting the ball and laying it off the glass with the left hand. Good job by Branson Begay beating the defender. Henning back there in transition. And a much needed second quarter basket for the Yellow Jackets. Their first points of the second quarter took them almost five minutes to score in this quarter. Believe that or not. Meanwhile, Winslow was on a bit of a tear. They scored nine, nine in the quarter before yielding that basket right there to Branson Begay and the Yellow Jackets. And all of that work by Winslow has netted them at the moment a three point, a four point now, a seven point lead as Jace Smith finds his range from outside the arc and hits a three pointer for the Bulldogs. Winslow 28, Blue Ridge 21. He's. These quarters, the quarters have, have been quite, quite different, right? Here's a big three that goes in, and Branson Begay connects for the first time. Uh, downtown, outside for the Yellow Jackets, their third three-pointer of the game. Bonito has a three. Ariolano Cruz has a three. And Branson Begay can scream. Did you, <laughs> did you hear that as he came out on to defend that three? Shot no good. Yellow Jackets running with it. Outside, Dominguez, now he tries to feed. Carlo Harris underneath, and that shot's no good. Well, you take a look at Carlo right there as he comes back up the floor. Carlo, a, a football player for the Yellow Jackets, and you'll get a shot of him right there. 
And, you know, Carlos Olive, about five foot eight, five foot nine. And, and look at his jersey number, 45. Okay? He's got the, the height of a guard, and he's wearing number 45. I don't even know. He's a, he's a football player, and he's a rodeo guy, all right? He's like a bucking bronc rider or something like that. So I don't even know if he, he has any idea about the numbers. It's just coach said, here's what we got. We got 45 for you. And that's what he's wearing as the ball gets tipped out of bounds. And the Yellow Jackets are going to take back over possession here with two minutes and one second remaining in the first half. Inbound. And Bogey will slowly bring it up into front court. Ranson to Cruz in the corner, left side back to Begay. And he's going to get between those defenders and throw one up there. He did a good job. And he is hes a scoring machine in this first half of the Yellow Jackets. There's Ralph Dominguez, steps in front of the pass, steals, and converts. And the Yellow Jackets turning the tables on Winslow here with a minute 28 remaining and tying the ball game. They were down seven just a moment ago. Much needed strategic timeout taken by Coach Elkins and the Yellow Jackets have responded. There's a shot missed from the corner, tipped around, knocked out of bounds. Bulldog basketball. And you stay tied at 28, everybody, with a minute 13 remaining in the first half. There's Coach Elkins. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint halftime report is just a few seconds away now, and Jason Benito with the quick defensive hands there, almost get the turnover. And it's Branson Begay who does pop it out of the control of the Bulldogs. Gets the steal, gets the pass back from his teammate, and Branson Begay has 15 first half points now after a layup in transition. Five points the lead for the Yellow Jackets. Well, make it three. There's a big three, count the shot for Jay Smith. And there's a foul away from the shot. This foul will go against. And that's going to go against Carlo Harris. Boy, Carlo. Yeah, that's his third foul of the game. He was juxtapositioning for, for the rebound, which, by the way, was never going to come, right? Because Jace made that three. Smith with the inbound throw now for Winslow. And he's going to have to pick up a loose ball, keep it, control it for the Bulldogs. And Jason Bonito just too fast with the hands, and he is able to get the steal up to Branson Begay and Lydell Baker. I think mostly in frustration commits a foul trying to trying to get the ball back from, from Branson. And there is a little bit of frustration building for a couple of these Bulldogs after, after the Yellow Jackets did such an effective job at turning it around. Winslow is back in front right now by that single point. 31 to 30. No ball. Chase. Tied up. Now the ball tied up out there, and the arrow points in Blue Ridge's favor. So they will inbound. Jason Benito takes the pass, spots up. Three point try, no good. Rebound, Begay inside, and Branson in the paint draws the foul. Couldn't quite make the shot, but he is going to the foul line after a Tyron. Dununefia foul, his second of the game. Team fouls. Inconsequential with 22 seconds remaining in the first half. Two on Winslow, three on Blue Ridge, and the first foul shot for Branson is good. Branson's done it all today. He's hit a three. Several other shots from the field have gone in, and now his first free throw attempt is good. Second one is off the back iron. Jackets get the rebound. And Begay throws a pass into the paint that gets tipped and stolen. The guy there, Jaden Curtis, in the game for Winslow, get, get the steal. And then a yellow jacket foul. The guy that got caught was Britton Dazen. Dazen with the foul. Only team foul number four, though, so that's not shooting foul for Dazen. We're tied at 31, and we'll see who gets, if anybody, gets the final points of the first half. Lyville Baker taking his time, bringing it up to Jay Smith in front court. Eight seconds. Smith picks up the dribble, hits his teammate curling, back outside, Lyville Baker, and he hits the shot to beat the buzzer and close out the first half. Lyville Baker, the big three-point shot. 
to end the half and give Winslow a 34 to 31 lead over the Yellow Jackets as we get you ready for the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report coming up in just a couple of moments, everybody. Stand by for it and a three point Bulldog lead. This is Northland basketball. It's presented by the Sports Zone. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. When exactness is ordered, Hatch Concrete will deliver. We provide ready-mixed concrete for any size job. From the do-it-yourself project to the professional construction project. Delivering a variety of aggregate to suit your concrete or construction needs from granite to cinders. Hatch Concrete is not just another ready-mixed concrete company. We provide quality surface, quality concrete, concrete pumping, and Fox Blocks where quality is not just a name, but a tradition. At Hatch Concrete, this mud's for you. Don't settle for less on a gift when you can give way more for way less. The Hallmark Gold Crown Store in Pine Top goes beyond having the perfect card. Exciting new lines were just released. Bourbon Barrel Foods out of Louisville, Kentucky features gourmet sauces, nuts, and seasonings. Jack Black's Men's Superior Skincare, be manly and clean. And for ladies, pinkies up. Luxury teas, sugars, cups, and infusers. Open Monday through Saturday, the Hallmark is where smiles are made together. The team at Beam and Well Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beam and Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. Not only does Perkins Cinders dominate site excavation, driveway building, and underground utility installation, they operate cinder pits and mines where they are literally crushing materials year-round. Don't just finish a construction job, crush it. Perkins Cinders, helping you get a load of this. What can you do for that special Valentine in your life? How about take them out for a romantic steak dinner at Cattleman's Steakhouse? Aw, you're the best, honey. Followed by two movie tickets to the WME Theaters. <laughs> then let them know their name is in the hat to win a Valentine adventure they will never forget. Premium VIP front row tickets to Blake Shelton live in concert. With special guests Dustin Lynch and Emily Ann Roberts. And if it couldn't get any better, add $1,000 cash. Happy Valentine's Day. If you have a broken windshield, call the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent and treat your Valentine to steak dinner, the movies, and a shot at front row tickets to see Blake Shelton live in concert, and $1,000 cash. Call Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent today. Welcome to the Mountain Mobile Halftime. A complete first half breakdown of tonight's Sports Zone Radio Game of the Week broadcast. This is the Mountain Mobile Halftime. Halftime, everybody. Hey, well, there's a shot. There's a shot of uh, me and the camera guy. The producer of these broadcasts, Derek Simmons, right there. Oh, there's a better shot. Let's look at replays from that first half. Check that out. Nice save. This is how it all began right there for Winslow. That was right off the opening tip. Then they got another quick shot right there. You'll see it. And they got the first four points of the game. And then it was uh, Blue Ridge going on a 10-0 run after that early Winslow start. Blue Ridge turned the tables, and they held the lead for much of really most of the first half after that. And then Winslow finally toward the end, battled back in. And we got a back and forth last couple of minutes before Lythel Baker hit a big three to end the first half and give Winslow a 34 to 31 lead. You see the score on your screen right there, everybody. Welcome back into Northland Basketball presented by the Sports Zone tonight here at Blue Ridge High School. It's Winslow 31, Blue Ridge 24. Uh, no, no. Winslow 34, Blue Ridge 31. There you go. Uh, Northland Basketball 
here at the Sports Zone and the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report commences. I want to say hi to Coach Rob Floco, Navajo Tech men's basketball coach. About 22 minutes ago, said he was checking in. Okay, Coach, good to see you. Uh, let's see. Who else out there? We got somebody mentioned that uh, this uh, Jason Benito for Blue Ridge is the younger cousin to Linwood Burke. Linwood Burke was a great Yellow Jacket player just a few years ago. Somebody called them both great ballers, and I agree. I agree with that. Uh, earlier tonight, it was the Blue Ridge Lady Yellow Jackets. Victorious over Winslow, 52-39 was the final in the girls' varsity game, and here at halftime of the boys, a very close game, as you can see. Numbers, numbers like this. Winslow with the lead, and they are led in scoring tonight so far by Casey Monroe. Casey's got seven in the game. He's got a teammate at six points. That's Jace Smith. Jace off the bench. He hit two threes in that second quarter to give him his six points total. Then three players for Winslow have five points apiece. Talon Henning has five. Anthony Torres with five. And the guy that hit the buzzer-beating three-point basket just a moment ago, Lifehell Baker, has five points as well. Four points for Tyron dunin Fbia. And two points for Isaac Dunana. Those are your totals here in the first half of this one as we send you back and look at more of those replays from the... Okay, <laughs> we will. We won't. I don't know. There's some replays right there for you from the first half. There's Branson Begay flashing some of his points from the first half. Branson leads everybody in scoring. The only guy in double figures on either squad. And Branson's big first half has netted 16 points for him. He's hit a three, and he's done a lot of other stuff. What a first half for Branson. 16 points for him in the game. Five points for Arilano Cruz. Four points for Jason Bonito. Four points for Ralph Dominguez. Two points for Carlo Harris. There's your totals from the first half of this one. Basketball fans, we hope you're enjoying things. Remind you of our next broadcast coming up on Monday. Next broadcast will be Monday. And it starts at 2 in the afternoon at Monument Valley. The Mustangs hosting out just say... It's a 2 o'clock start on Monday. Remember that. Do join us in the afternoon Monday at 2 p.m. for the broadcast. Monument Valley hosting out to say we'll have, have it right here at Northland Basketball. Well, we'll grab one more timeout. We'll be back in a moment. We wrap up the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report, and we'll start the second half right after this. Northland Basketball is presented by the Sports Zone. What can you do for that special Valentine in your life? How about take them out for a romantic steak dinner at Cattleman's Steakhouse? Aw, oh, you're the best, honey. Followed by two movie tickets to the WME Theaters. <laughs> then let them know their name is in the hat to win a Valentine adventure they will never forget. Premium VIP front row tickets to Blake Shelton live in concert with special guests Dustin Lynch and Emily Ann Roberts. And if it couldn't get any better, add $1,000 cash. Happy Valentine's Day. If you have a broken windshield, call the experts at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent and treat your Valentine to steak dinner, the movies, and a shot at front row tickets to see Blake Shelton live in concert, and $1,000 cash. Call Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent today. The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beam and Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beeman Well Drilling. Second half about to get underway here at Yellow Jacket Gymnasium. Welcome back, basketball fans. The 7-7 seven seven Winslow Bulldogs taking on the 4-6 and six Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. Winslow leading 34-31. to 31. You're listening to Mix 98 KRFM Sholo, the broadcast home of sports on radio across the White Mountains. So thank you for joining us on radio here in the White Mountains. And uh, taking a look at rankings, 
as I did a moment ago. We'll look again for the boys. The number one team in the state is Valley Christian. They're undefeated. Holbrook is number two. Yuma Catholic, number three. Gilbert Christian, number four. ALA Ironwood is ranked number five. Northwest Christian is number six. Then you got the Page Sand Devils at seven. Snowflake is number eight. Fountain Hills, nine. Chin Lee checks in at 10. The uh, Sholo Cougars are ranked number 11. Parker is 12. Coolidge, 13. Then you get to the Winslow Bulldogs here tonight. They are number 14 in the state. Safford is following them at 15. Then it's Palo Verde Magnet, 16. Florence is number 17. And then the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets, the number 18 ranked team in the state. Other teams from this area, Payson is number 20. Monument Valley, number 26. Tuba City, 29. Alchese, 30. Ganado is number 35. Window Rock, 38. As that three-pointer won't go in. The second half gets underway. Northland basketball here at the Sports Zone. My name is Floyd Simmons, and Winslow has a 34-31 lead over Blue Ridge to start the second half. The Yellow Jackets now with their first possession here of the third quarter. Caleb Mink passed up what I thought was a, an open look to the basket. Felt the defense collapsing, and they really didn't. He stepped outside and then had the pass, the uh, ball knocked out of his hands. It'll be an inbound for the Yellow Jackets, and they'll bring it in to Arilano Cruz. He joins Caleb Mink, Ralph Dominguez, Branson Begay, Jason Benito for the Yellow Jackets starting the second half. Dominguez serves one outside to Branson Begay. The nice drive, the nice finish. I was wondering why Dominguez chose not to shoot from under the basket. Now I know why. Because his man, Branson Begay, who now gets a steal, was good for his 18th point of the game on that last May. Couldn't make this one. Fingertip roll on the fast break. And lots of contact as Winslow will race back the other direction. Tyron Dunun Fbia. Dunun Fbia will go to the foul line after a Caleb Mink foul. It's Caleb's first foul of the game for the Yellow Jackets. And here is Tyron. And he is unable to make the first foul shot. 34 to 33 is our score. Watch out. Caleb, go. The second foul shot is good. And the Yellow Jackets will try to answer. Drive by Cruz, and he is fouled by Henning. One. Talon Henning South commits the foul. Two, Second of the game to send Ariolano Cruz, well. Cruz to the foul line. Winslow starts uh, Talon Henning. Tyron Duhuhefia. Lybel Baker. Anthony Torres. Casey Monroe. Those are your starters for the second half as you look again at the replay and the uh, Free throws are no good for Cruz. He got a couple of tries at it. Unable. Branson Begay, the Euro step is good for him. He's able to roll it in, and Branson's big night continues. He gets the first two buckets of the second half for the Yellow Jackets. He sits at 20 points in the game for Blue Ridge. Lightbell Baker goes around Begay's defense. And Ralph Dominguez is there waiting for him, and I believe that. No, it wasn't Ralph that committed the foul. It was. It was the gay who got beat on the play, and he picks up his third foul of the game. Long range shot, no good for the Bulldogs. Caleb Mink has the yellow jacket rebound. Cruz drives back outside to Jason Benito. That one no good. Rebound. That's Cruz inside. Nice head fake. Beat one defender. And Arlano Cruz has seven points now. He's able to make that shot. Jackets pull back ahead here. So they trail by three coming out of the break, and now they have outscored Winslow six to one here in the third quarter. Jump stop and a dish outside. Henning for three. 
And the Bulldogs shot no good. Rebound, Ralph Dominguez. The Yellow Jackets bring it up into front court. Bonito, right side. To Begay, and they say Begay just dragged that foot. Travel called on the Yellow Jackets. Five and a half on the clock in the third quarter. Duhu Hefia feeds it left side for the jumper, and it's good. That is Anthony Torres. Big shot there, and then we're going to get a whistle. Looks like uh, Caleb Bink is going to get whistled for a yellow jacket foul. Caleb didn't exactly look like he understood the call. Inbound. Torres shot no good, and he is able to throw it, throw it off Mink to save the possession for Winslow. Oh, that was a great job. Not only did he throw it off him, he threw it behind his back and off of Mink to give Winslow the inbound pass. Bulldogs back in front, 38 to 37, and they got a bit out of control with the dribble. Who had the uh, could not hold on to it. The Yellow Jackets took advantage of it, and now a shot from 26 feet. No good on the three-point try. Way downtown for Begay. Winslow will. They're going to try. They're going to try to convert off of that miss, and they do eventually. The second effort and third try for the team. Second effort for uh, Torres. Anthony Torres able to make the shot. He banked it high off the glass over the top of Branson Begay's defense. Three tries for Winslow on that possession, and they finally finally got something out of it. We're going to get the third whistle of the game on, on Lythel Baker, his third foul. Inbound. The Jackets have it, trailing by three. Bonito from the corner of the angle right side. His three is no good, and there's Baker for the Bulldog rebound. Up the floor, Torres underneath, reverse lay-in. Nicely done. Give the assist to Lydell Baker and Anthony Torres the bucket. Torres has seven of his 12 points here in the third quarter. Left side, in and out. It's no good for Danford. He is coming to the game. Elijah Danford for Blue Ridge, and you got players strewn strewn across the hardwood out there. Begay hits the floor for, for the Bulldogs. Baker is out there, Winslow on the ground. Everybody's okay. But all of a sudden, the high point man there for Blue Ridge, Branson Begay, just picked up personal foul number four, and he is going to be replaced. Checking in to replace him is Trevor Byers. Byers. I believe the first time we get to see Trevor today, and out goes Branson Begay and his 20 points for the Yellow Jackets, and he may be gone for a while now with his fourth foul. 3.49 left in the third quarter. Casey Monroe drives for Winslow, got past two defenders, and his runner is going to be no good. Rebound, Blue Ridge. Byers saved it in front of the Winslow bench, got it into Caleb Mink. And the Yellow Jackets bring the offense into front court. Set it up. Jason Bonito to Trevor Byers to Elijah Danford. Ralph Dominguez is out there. Caleb Mink at the high post, and he feeds Bonito left side for a three-point try. Can't make it, but Danford has an offensive rebound. So the Jackets reset the shot clock. 30 seconds on the clock. 3.07 on the game clock. And the Mink pass to the baseline is off Ralph Dominguez's hands out of bounds. Turnover. Winslow will have it. And into the game. Baker goes out. Duhu Hefia checks out. Coming in for Winslow, Jace Smith. And the guy that throws the ball into inbounds to him, Isaac Denana, comes into the game, back into the game for the Bulldogs. Those guys join. Uh, Talon Henning out there. Anthony Torres on the floor, and it uh, looks like Casey Monroe is the other. Winslow Bulldog. Smith on the drive, couldn't make the shot. 
Henning fights for, gets the rebound. Missed that shot. Ralph Dominguez had it for a moment. And his pass was broken up. And then a collision ensued. There's a whistle. They're going to separate the players who were momentarily attached on the floor. And we're going to get an intentional foul called on the Bulldogs. Uh, Talon Henning, a little frustrated right here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was a tackle. That would make uh, any of the football coaches in the immediate area very proud of Talon. So he gets the intentional foul call on that. You get another look at it. Oh, this is a textbook. That's a textbook tackle right there. It's not the worst tackle I've seen in a long time. Henning's got his fourth foul of the game, by the way. And it was Elijah Danford at the free throw line. Got one of those for the Yellow Jackets. Inbound pass. And then eventually an Elijah Danford foul. Elijah's got his first foul of the game. Coach Venton Nelson there for Winslow. And he's got his team in front right now, 42 to 38. What a great matchup this one is. These two teams, they match up well with each other. Seems like we get, seems like we always in for a great game between these two teams, Blue Ridge and Winslow. It's a great rivalry. They're like opposites, opposite ends of the region. Lakeside and Winslow. And so it's not a natural rivalry, but in basketball, I think it's, I think it's as good a 3A East region rivalry as, as we get. Donata at the free throw line got both of those shots to go, and now Winslow's got a six-point lead and a full timeout. So we'll grab a timeout as well. Return with us in a moment, everybody, to Blue Ridge with more Northland basketball presented by the Sports Zone. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. Whoa, did you see Cellular One's affordable connectivity plan now comes with a 100 gigabyte hotspot? We can stream for days. Yes, that's right. The Cellular One ACP plan now includes 100 gigabytes of LTE data. Use it as a hotspot every month in addition to unlimited data on your smartphone. Tribal land residents on government assistance programs can access the free ACP plan, including those enrolled in WIC, SNAP, Lifeline, Pell Grants, and Medicaid. Get your free ACP plan at any Cellular One store today. ACP is a government benefit program and customers must qualify. Some restrictions apply. Limited time only, non-transferable. Limited to one line per household. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sport Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928 524-6854. 44-38 our score as we... You missed that big collision. Well, some of you saw that big collision. There was a huge collision just a moment ago that produced a foul on Ralph Dominguez and put this guy, Tyron Duhuhefia, at the free throw line for Winslow. Made the first, missed the second. There's a travel call. Winslow got the ball, but then turned it right back over to the Yellow Jackets. Two minutes and six seconds remaining here in the third quarter. 
And the Yellow Jackets working to get this ball across. And we'll get a foul on, on the Bulldogs. Third foul of the game on Duhu Hetfia. Remember, in a few moments here on our broadcast, we're going to give away a $50 Maverick Stores gas card. You want to save on some gas? How about a $50 gas card? Who doesn't want that? Because you watch Elijah Danford go to work, and he's going to get a bucket and a chance for the end one after a Danana foul, his third of the game. Well, the, uh, the, the board here, scoreboard says two. The official scorekeeper says two fouls on Danana. Okay. We'll say so. We'll say that's that's the number. Elijah Danford with the N1 successful. And uh, down to a four-point Winslow lead, 45-41. Bulldogs in front with 95 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We'll give away that $50 gas card from Maverick. Shot up, no good. Tied up. And uh, possession arrow. Blue Ridge, the Yellow Jackets. The inbound and into front court. And a bad pass that is taken away by the by the dogs. To who had via drive, dish, shot, good. With that left hand, Danana has got the shot for the Bulldogs. Nice transition basket. They lead 47-41. A minute, seven remaining in the third quarter. And Trevor Byers unable to connect on the shot for the Yellow Jackets. One minute remaining. Remember, uh, Branson Begay has four personal fouls. Now the high point man for Blue Ridge. He's on the bench. And taking advantage is Anthony Torres. Torres connects on his second three of the third quarter. Anthony's had a great quarter. Scored 10 points in the period. He's got 15 overall. Yeah, there's an answer on the other end by Ralph Dominguez. Ralph. Drops in the layup. 33 seconds left in the quarter. And it's 50 to 43. Ball out of bounds. Jackets will have it here. We'll see if they hold the ball. There's going to be no shot clock in this final now, 25 seconds. Will they attack quickly? Will they burn the clock down? Danford dribbles out from the quarter. To Dominguez back to Danford left side Bonito now 10 seconds they're gonna play for the final shot Bonito three seconds pulls up three on the way and he's got the shot well done by Jason Bonito got the screen two defenders still converged on him somehow he released and knocked down the big shot to end the quarter take a look at it again Moving to his left, a beautiful shot by Bonito. We got a four-point game going to the fourth quarter. Stand by for it, everybody. Northland Basketball presented by the Sports Zone. You may qualify for free internet with Choice and Chiwe Wireless. If you already have Choice Tribal Lifeline, then you may also qualify for a free home internet connection with the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice and Chiwe Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice and Chiwe Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. If there's one player on the field that outperforms the rest, it's Perkins Cinders. Like any all-star, they put in the hard work by sourcing, sorting, and delivering all things dirt. Concrete materials, gravel, cinders, topsoil, mulch, and more. With over five decades of knowledge and expertise, manpower, and a whole lot of horsepower, Perkins Cinders will help you score that huge win with your project. Serving the entire White Mountains at PerkinsCindersInc.com. Get a load of this. Well, if I'm not mistaken, we have three buzzer beaters in this game, don't we? Haven't we hit a hit a, hit a buzzer beater at the end of every quarter? That one there from Jason Bonito. Jason was really quiet for the better part of two quarters and hadn't hit a shot since the first quarter. Now he gets an assist on a long pass up the floor uh, to Branson Begay, and Branson opens the fourth quarter scoring for the Yellow Jackets to make it a two-point game as the fourth quarter gets underway on this broadcast of Northland Basketball, presented by the Sports Zone. Our score is Winslow 50, Blue Ridge 48. My name is Floyd Simmons, and the Bulldogs have the basketball. 
And then we'll get a hand check on Jason Bonito. It's Jason's second foul of the game. Branson Begay mentioned his name a moment ago as he was able to convert on the fast break for the Jackets. Branson returns to the lineup. He's got four personal fouls, and the Bulldogs turn it over. That is uh, Tyron Duhuhetia. He dribbles it off his foot out of bounds. And he'll now check out of the game after the bad dribble. Lydell Baker replaces him. The other four out there for Winslow to start this quarter. Jace Smith is out there. So is Isaac Denana. There's Anthony Torres and Casey Monroe for Winslow. There's a long shot, way short. And uh, Denana has the rebound for the Bulldogs. Back door, Lightbell Baker, head fake. Yeah, did a good job, got the defender to fly over the top. And Baker with the fourth quarter basket for Winslow and a Yellow Jacket turnover in backcourt. Winslow's got it back, they've got the four point lead here, 52-48. 6.44 on the clock in the fourth quarter. Northland basketball here at the sports zone, and the Bulldogs going to work with the basketball. And they're going to run the curl to Casey Monroe. Off the glass, shot is good. Number 35, Casey Monroe, two points. Casey's got it. Bulldogs in the game have hit six three point baskets. And right now they're just going to work with the twos as they got a Jackets turnover. Really a steal for Winslow and a pass up the floor to Lytle Baker who converted and Winslow gets a run going. They score six straight points to lead now 56-48 here in the fourth quarter. Timeout on our broadcast. Stand by Northland Basketball presented by the Sports Zone. When exactness is ordered, Hatch Concrete will deliver. We provide ready-mix concrete for any size job. From the do-it-yourself project to the professional construction project. Delivering a variety of aggregate to suit your concrete or construction needs from granite to cinders. Hatch Concrete is not just another ready-mix concrete company. We provide quality surface, quality concrete, concrete pumping, and Fox Blocks where quality is not just a name, but a tradition. At Hatch Concrete, this mud's for you. Back to our action at Blue Ridge High School. Everybody want to thank our sponsoring partners that help us bring you Northland basketball, like the Furniture Gallery and Snowflake. Thank you to them for their partnership. Thank you to Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint for sure. Thank you again to the Furniture Gallery and to Ace Hardware of Sholo Pine Top and Heber Overguard, great partners of ours here at the Sports Zone. Six twelve on the clock. Fourth quarter underway. Fifty six forty eight. We want to give away. We want to give away a fifty dollar gas card. Fifty dollar gas card. As we watch, we watch Branson Begay knock down a three. Branson missed a bunch of action here in the second half thanks to his foul trouble, but it hasn't slowed him down as a scorer. Missed that shot, but the three before that was nice for the Yellow Jackets and their fans. And we got a five point game here. 56-51 Winslow in front. There's a Winslow foul now after Blue Ridge end up with the basketball. The guy that committed the foul, Lytell Baker. Lytell just committed personal foul number four as you look again on that, at that great three point make by Begay. Begay to throw it in for the Yellow Jackets. Gets it into Caleb Mink. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to give you a chance to win a $50 gas card. And we watch Jason Benito with the Euro step go inside, make the shot. Boy, that was a pretty shot by Jason. He's got nine points in the game. I believe that's a little below his average for the season. It was a good looking shot. Drive on the other end for Jay Smith of Winslow. He is fouled, and he'll go to the foul line. Two shots on the way for Smith. And it was Benito who got him for Jason's third foul of the game. Jace Smith will shoot the shots. Take another look at it. Nice job by, by Jace Smith. Got him go to work out there. Got the handles for sure, doesn't he? Smith makes the foul shot. First one. Back to a four-point game. And here's this one. That shot is good as well. Well, 
Let's see. We want to try to maybe do a little something you can answer to us on our on our YouTube chat. If you want to win the fifty dollar gas card, all you have to do is respond on our YouTube chat, not the Facebook chat. So if you're watching on Facebook, I I urge you if you want to win the fifty dollar gas card, go to our YouTube channel. You must do two things: hit the subscribe. And the second thing is give us the name of your favorite college basketball team, your favorite college basketball team on the YouTube chat, the live chat. And that puts you in, and we'll draw somebody's name. And we'll do that drawing just a little bit after our broadcast. Notify the winner here tonight, a $50 gas card from the Maverick stores, just by telling us the name of your favorite college basketball team and also make sure you hit the subscribe button on our YouTube chat. Got it? Oh, look at Branson Begay, boy, I tell you. He, he's Mr. Do Everything, isn't he? He is having a great game for the Yellow Jackets. 27 points, but team is down by five right now, and Lightfield Baker gets schwacked on his way in. Mike Bell going to the foul line, two for him. And guess what? Guess uh, Dominguez gets his second foul of the game. Here comes Baker. Okay, so again, go to our YouTube chat. Give us the name of your favorite college basketball team. Not on the Facebook chat. It's got to be on the YouTube chat because we're not monitoring the Facebook chat. So if you're watching on Facebook get over to YouTube also subscribe while you're there and tell us your favorite college basketball team so let's see we got a bunch of answers already a ton of answers already and we got answers ranging from the Yukon Huskies to the Arizona Wildcats to BYU to the Duke Blue Devils Oklahoma Sooners somebody's got the Oklahoma Sooners is their favorite team it's interesting all right Wayman Tisdale, right? Didn't he play? Didn't Wayman Tisdale play for Oklahoma way back in the day? Hey, there's a Winslow steal, a Winslow takeaway, and Isaac Tanana gets the shot. And a Winslow steal right here. This would be a big make if they can get it. Nope, going to be double dribble. So that prevents Winslow from getting a, to a double digits lead. They'll lead right now 63 55 with 338 remaining. And, in regulation. Other uh, other teams mentioned, let's see, more Arizona Wildcats. Lots of Arizona Wildcats. There's one for ASU. More Wildcats. There's the Ohio State Buckeyes. Really? Basketball? Okay. And uh, Begay unable to make that shot. Danana the rebound for Winslow. Who else? Let's see. Women's Iowa Hawkeyes for Caitlin Clark. That was R.J. Tate. We know R.J. He was one of the all-time greats here at Blue Ridge. R.J., hope you're doing well. Oh, look at the nice no-look pass into Danana from Casey Monroe. And a 10-point lead for the Bulldogs. Three minutes remaining in this one. Feed it to Caleb Mink in the corner back outside Branson Begay, and he gives it to Jason Bonito. Taking their time, 15 on the shot clock. Not going to matter because that one is on the way. From Bonito, missed it. Rebound Dominguez for a moment. Lost the handle. Winslow lost it. Dish inside to Mink, and he is fouled. The guy that got him was Torres. Anthony Torres will pick up his just his first foul of the game. So Torres sends Caleb Mink to the line for two free throw shots. That is team foul number two on Winslow here in the fourth quarter. The Yellow Jackets have three team fouls, by the way. And there is a Caleb Mink free throw. That is good. Take a look at the action. Look at this wraparound no-look pass right there inside. Winslow looking, looking good. Shades of their, their championship team from just a few years ago with that. Let's see. Uh, somebody else likes the UCLA Bruins as you watch the fadeaway. Good for Casey. Monroe with the left hand. Casey into double figures scoring. Now he's got 11 points in the game. 
And we'll get an offensive foul on Bonito. Player control foul, fourth foul of the game on Jason. High point man for Winslow is Anthony Torres with 17. Uh, you just see the tail end of that one there. Uh, four guys in double figures for the Bulldogs. Monroe has, has got 11. Lyville Baker with 10 points. Isaac Tanana, 10 points. If Winslow holds on and wins, it's going to be it's going to be tough to announce. Come down to uh, name the uh, sports on player of the game. You watch Bonito, who's been busy on both ends of the floor here in the fourth quarter. He's got 11 points. And a takeaway for Blue Ridge. And flying into the paint to draw a foul is Ransom Begay. And the guy that got him, Lifel Baker, and that'll be Lifel's fifth foul of the game. So Lifel will foul out of the game. And replacing him is the guy that's got the best tackle of the game. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, Talon Henning returning to the lineup. Talon is Talon's a talented player. We've seen him do a lot out there for the team tonight. Did get a little bit of an extra rest thereafter, committing a very physical foul, and now he's back in there to help nail down the middle of that defense. Begay drives. Begay just committed an offensive foul. He ran over the Winslow defender, and that is Begay's Branson Begay's fifth foul. He is. Fouling out of the game with a minute 47 remaining. And he leaves with 27 points. I don't know how you look to anybody else for the Sportsman's player of the game. If the Yellow Jackets can overcome an eight-point deficit with 107 seconds remaining. We'll get a timeout. And uh, during this timeout, we'll stay right here. Remind you of a couple of things. We got a, a game broadcast on Monday that does start very early. Two o'clock start on Monday. From Monument Valley, they will take on out to say our coverage begins at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. Join us for Northland basketball. Hey, there's Choice Wireless. Thank you for their sponsorship of our broadcast coverage. The Furniture Gallery and Snowflake as well. 67-59, the lead for Winslow over Blue Ridge. Thank you, Holbrook Family Dentistry. As I go back to the uh, our YouTube feed, another vote for the UCLA Bruins. Now this time the Lady Bruins. BYU Cougars, ASU Sun Devils. So if you want a chance to win a $50 gas card from the Maverick stores, go to our Sports on Radio YouTube channel and tell us your favorite, tell us your favorite college football team as Blue Ridge commits a foul. Dominguez gets called for the foul. And uh, that'll send, that'll send Winslow to the free throw line. And this is Duhu Heffy. Uh, he's going to get a chance to add to his six points that he has in the game. 67-59, Winslow in front of Blue Ridge with a minute 42 remaining. So if you go to our YouTube broadcast, Sports on Radio, and you comment your favorite college basketball team and subscribe to the page, at the same time, we will give you a, we'll give you a chance, we'll do a drawing, do those two things to put your name in the drawing and we'll give away a $50 gas card to Maverick, okay? Do that, but you gotta hurry, you got a minute 32 remaining in the game. You can, you can do this as long as the broadcast goes, that includes our post game, you can still, you can still comment. Boy, these two teams are getting after it out there, aren't they? Henning up the floor, and he ends up traveling. Bobbled the ball a little bit. Somebody said NAU. Somebody said Northern Arizona. Somebody else said GCU. Well, listen, GCU's got a, a nice winning streak going on right now. I think they won, I don't know, 12 or 13 in a row, something like that. GCU is supposed to be the, the, the best basketball fan experience in the country. Pull-up shot off the screen by Cruz. No, no good there. Rebound to Huhetvia. Up the floor. One minute Has it blocked. Got it back. Made it count. Sixty-nine, fifty-nine. Winslow. Bonito for three. He just hasn't had the range today. Sometimes that's your night, right? 
Sometimes it doesn't matter how many times you try, you just can't quite seem to connect. Other times you can't miss. Arielana Cruz. Personal foul. That's the first foul of the game on Cruz. Seventh team foul on the Yellow Jackets. This will be two foul shots for Jay Smith. Jay's putting some ice on this one. Three out of three from the line in the fourth quarter for Jay Smith. He's got nine in the game. Can he join four of his teammates in double figures right here? He does. He does. Shot is good. He's got ten points. Hey, if they could get uh, Duhu Hefi a, a two-point basket or better, he's going to be in double figures. Can they get six guys in double figures? How cool would that be? Shot from downtown is no good. Ralph Dominguez missing. Intentional foul on the Yellow Jackets. And the guy that did that was uh, Trevor Byers. Ed is going to put Winslow at the line. Hey, this guy right here, Duhu Hetfia. He, if he makes both foul shots, he is in double figures with 10 points. And he's got he's got uh, four, no, five teammates in double figures. So he makes that one. Tell me you're not pulling for Tyron right now. Come on, Tyron, make this shot. Here we go. Take your time, buddy. Count it, baby. Shot is good. He's got 10 in the game. Look at this for Winslow. Anthony Torres has 17. Lyville Baker has 10. Tyron Duhetvia now has 10. Jay Smith has 11. Or 10, sorry. Casey Monroe has 11. And, uh, and finally, Isaac Danana has 10 points. What a, what a performance by... Benton Nelson's Winslow Bulldogs, they're going to run the clock out here, eight seconds, and they're going to get a win. There's Coach Nelson, and his guys are going to move above 500, eight and seven overall in the game after getting this win tonight here at Blue Ridge. Congratulations to the Winslow Bulldogs. Keep commenting out there. If you haven't given us your comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you've got a couple more minutes to do that here in our post game. Blue Ridge with the loss drops to four and seven on this one. And in the 3A East region standings. Tell you what these two teams have done. I can't speak to anybody else tonight. But coming into the game, Winslow was 1-1. One one. They're now, of course, 2-1. And, and the Yellow Jackets dropped to 0-2 in the 3A East region. And our sports zone player of the game, this is going to be a tough one. Um, it, it was so well balanced. I, I think we go with the high point, man. I think we go with Anthony Torres. He scored 17. Torres, number 23, scored 17. Your call. We're going to figure out who the Sports Zone player of the game is here. And we'll also talk to Coach Venton Nelson of the Winslow Bulldogs, everybody. How about six guys in double figures? Everybody who scored except Talon Henning got into double figures. Talon ended with five. Everybody else, everybody else had 10 or more in the game. If you got in the scoring column today, <laughs> You got some work done. Basketball fans, what a night for the uh, Winslow Bulldogs as they pull away to a 73-59 to 59 win. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Very good. Let's uh, begin our postgame festivities, everybody. Final score in tonight's Northland basketball broadcast at Blue Ridge High School. Winslow, the Winslow boys come in and get a road victory over the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. Final score, 73-59. And our opportunity here now to speak to the Sports Zone's player of the game. We may have more than one, but I know for sure that this guy is, is uh, picking up that, that acknowledgement. It's the high point man tonight for Winslow. And he scored 17 along the way toward getting Winslow a victory. Anthony Torres joins us now. Anthony, congratulations on the win. Thank you, thank you. Well, listen, you came in and you got a hard-fought battle tonight with Blue Ridge and got the win. How does it feel? Uh, it feels good. Uh, traveling all this way and then uh, just coming out here, playing hard, grabbing rebounds, especially because we're one man down, our big man, so we, need, we really needed him. But, uh, yeah, we were just all around good, boxing out, trying to get right rebounds, and, yeah. 
You know, Anthony, I, I kind of have this feeling like Winslow Blue Ridge is one of the best rivalries in the region. Oh, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know what it is. You guys are so far apart, okay? But every time you get together, these games are terrific. They're hard fought. They're about tonight. It was very physical. There was a lot of collisions and people, bodies flying. Tell me your opinion of the rivalry with with Blue Ridge. Uh, I think the rivalries. I think it's there because every single time we come down here, they want to come at us. We want to go at them, and it's always a close game whenever we play them. All four years I've been in high school playing for the team, it's always been a good game at the freshman, JV, and varsity level. They bring out the best in you. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great game tonight. Um, let me ask you about your teammates. I, listen to this. This is pretty cool. You guys, you guys had six players. One, two, three, four, six players in double figures. Oh yeah, yeah. We like to share the ball, get everybody involved. Yeah, that's how. We, that's kind of how we like to play. So, so while I'm surprised about it, because I hardly ever see that in a game, yeah. you're, you're you're taking it like it's business as usual for you yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, we try to get everybody involved, just so that like everybody's going and we're rolling on all cylinders and kind of just working together as a team, getting the win. You know, Winslow has been known for its defense for a long, long time, and I know Coach Nelson. It was his objective to carry on that kind of intense defensive pressure when he took over as the head coach. How do you feel like that's going now? Oh, yeah, yeah. the defense is good. The past two years, I would say, we, we kind of been down, but we're on the way up because we implemented a new defense. It's called 15 and 12. It's a 1-2-2, two, two, and it's not very aggressive, but it's more passive, and we kind of let the defense just or the offense mess up, and, yeah, we just kind of okay. just play from behind too. Okay, well, how does it feel to be uh – to be playing some good basketball with the Winslow Bulldogs about right now. It's such a rich tradition of basketball success. You guys are looking good out there tonight. Yeah, we're, well, we're on the way up. At first, we were really high, and then we kind of dipped down. But right now, we're trying to build back up and get hopefully get to that state title. Well, Anthony, I've got this for you. I'll get the assist on a nice pass to you of this uh, beautiful sports zone swag. Are you going to wear that with pride? Yeah, yeah, of course. All right. All right, man. Go uh, go have fun with that. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy the trip home. Yep, you too. Okay, there's Anthony Torres. The sports zone player of the game tonight for Winslow. He led them with uh, 17 points in the game tonight, and he picks up the sports zone's player of the game award presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Along the way, his teammates, well, he scored 17. Uh, listen to this. Casey Monroe had 11 points. Jace Smith had 10 points. Uh, Tyron Duhuhefia had 10 points. Uh, Lytle Baker had 10 points. And Isaac Donata had 10 points tonight. Six guys from Winslow in double figures. And according to our friend there, Anthony Torres, that is just business as usual for the Winslow Bulldogs. And they get the win tonight over, over the uh, Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. In a moment, we'll talk with Venton Nelson, the head coach of Winslow, and get his thoughts on his team's performance. This was a close game. And it was, a, it was a game that was tied not that long ago. Uh, but the, uh, the Winslow uh, Bulldogs, it was just a great fourth quarter for them to end up getting the victory tonight. In the fourth quarter, they outscored the Yellow Jackets 23-13 to to make the big difference. They also outscored Blue Ridge 18-12 to in the second quarter to grab a halftime lead by three points. All in all, and when it's all said and done, Winslow gets the win to move to 8-7 and seven overall on the season. And in the 3A East region, now a 2-1 and one region mark for the Winslow Bulldogs. We'll talk with Coach Nelson here in just a moment. Let's grab a timeout, everybody. And uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, you gra grab what you're going to grab. We don't really have them set up for a break, but we're going to take a timeout. Stay with us, everybody, and keep commenting on our SportsZone YouTube channel. Comment there. Tell us your favorite college basketball team. And also subscribe to the channel. And if you'll do that, we're going to uh, put you in for a drawing for a $50 gas card from our friends at the Maverick stores. Okay, so if you'd like that $50 gas card, go to our Sports Zone Radio YouTube channel for the next couple of minutes while it's live. Give you a chance to chat and tell us your favorite college basketball team there. Subscribe to the page and you will be in for a drawing. Maybe get fifty dollars in gas, and who wouldn't love fifty dollars in gas? Coach, would you like fifty dollars hey, gas? I, I could use it, right? We could all use <laughs> I it, right? I could use it. We could. All right, let's talk to the head coach here. Hey, welcome back to Blue Ridge High School. Final score tonight in the boys' varsity game: Winslow has defeated Blue Ridge seventy-three fifty-nine. For the Bulldogs, they move above five hundred on their season mark. They're now eight and seven, and they have a two and one record in the three A East region now after tonight's big win over the. 
Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. Welcome back to Northland Basketball. I'm Floyd Simmons, and the uh, handsome man on your screen right there is, is Venton Nelson, the head coach of Winslow. Congratulations, Coach. Hey, thank you, Floyd. Well, listen, man, you guys uh, you guys did it when you needed to. Down the stretch, when uh, when the chips were on the line, a great finish for the Winslow Bulldogs. Yeah, you know, uh, we're without our, our, our big man, so, you know, uh, these kids had to step up, and they did tonight. Stepped up, played great defense, right? I mean, this is something uh, you, you pride yourself on. We talked to Anthony a moment ago. We talked about new defense that you're playing out there, mm -hmm. and I thought Winslow was flying on that side of the ball. Yeah, you know, we were we were hot out the gates this season, and uh, we kind of settled down a little bit, but um, we're working on it, you know. We're, I'm, not, I'm not completely satisfied with, with – what I see out there, and uh, I know I know that we can do better. I thought this was a very uh, this was amazing to me, really, and and unusual for the games that we get to see. You had six different players, six different players in double figures tonight. Is that is that business as usual for the Bulldogs? Not quite, you know. Um, I think uh, we shared the ball very well tonight, you know, with six players in double digits you know that says a lot about how much we shared the ball and how much we got up and down the court and look for one another it certainly <clears throat> did guys put it together you were rewarded on the long trip with a with a victory that i'm sure you'll you'll build on as you continue to advance here in the month of january and in your three a east region schedule coach congratulations big win for you hey, go enjoy thank you. thank you you got it yep. uh, all right Benton nelson is the head coach of the winslow bulldogs and his team with the victory tonight here at Blue Ridge High School. We congratulate them. And, uh, and again, the final 73 to 59 Northland basketball right here at the Sports Zone. Well, our next broadcast comes up on, uh, go, ahead and hit that, uh, go ahead and hit that closing theme there. Our next broadcast will come up on Monday. Al Jose at Monument Valley. Join us for our broadcast, everybody, of Northland basketball on uh, on Monday, it's a, it's a 2 o'clock start. Keep that in mind, a 2 o'clock start. And you've got just a couple more seconds to give us your comment on your favorite college basketball team, then the broadcast will end, and uh, we'll draw somebody's name to win that $50 gas card from the Maverick. Thanks to our broadcast team, our producer, Derek Simmons, our technical director, David Simmons, and on camera one, big Sean Ulvestad for the entire crew. I am Floyd Simmons saying thanks for joining us. God bless you. We'll join you next time for our next broadcast of Northland Basketball. Final score, Winslow 73, Blue Ridge 59 in the boys' varsity game. Until next time, good night, everybody, from Blue Ridge High School.